Hey guys, Chronos Feet, Dark Face 1 back, and this is the third battle against Cotton Feet. So let's head straight into it, shall we? Uh, so they're gonna go off with Nick as they do, as I lead in this time with Letter Rise. You may have seen from the cutscene that this is a 6 on 6, and I am not using my usual team. In fact, I am testing out some different Pokemon for my battle team, as it's not working. So they go for Flamethrower, and hits me for just over half as I get off an earthquake, knocking them down at least half. So I'm doing pretty good here. They go for a Dragon Claw, and I believe that not to let Levi out, which was a shame, but oh well, what are you gonna do? So now I swap into Grace, who is my replacement guard as well. Uh, Grace isn't actually going on my team, uh, she's there now just for the uh, trace ability, so I get off a Dazzling Gleam, knocking out Nick easily, and uh, they next go into the legendary. This is their like free Elite 14 kind of thing. So this was before they went against the league. And the fourth battle is the one they beat the league with. So as you see here, get off confusion. They go for a uh, night slash as I get off my second sidekick, knocking that deer out of here. So I don't care if you got rainbows, you're out. So next they go in back into Sylvie and uh, Get off another night slash on Grace here. It's not going down to red as I get on psychic. Doesn't affect. There's something up here. Psychic does affect me. And it's using a dark type move. Had I been paying attention to the battle, I would have realized it. So I get a swap into my guard champ and go for an iron head. This thing is a Zoroark. So they get off another night slash as Rough Skin does its damage. Rocky Helmet does increase damage, and they're left on red as I go for no, I go for Flamethrower, which uh, knocks out Zoroark down to the ground, eliminated by. So next up is their Dragonair as I go for Dragon Claw, finally realizing oh, this thing is more dragon than anything. So that's a one hit KO on that as they go into Absol, a glass cannon of a character. So good for speed and attack. Fence, however, not so much. So, I go into Go Goat here, trying to get a quad on quad battle. This again is the one that I got off Hayden, so it's like pride and joy. Uh, as I head off another Night Slash, you know, I start with the Horn Leech so I can uh, just, you know, do the damage and get some health back from it. So I restore to, to green. I take it for a, another Night Slash, not gonna be like yellow. I go for a Horn Leech. This one doesn't heal me up to green, but, uh, Puts me pretty close as Absol now is out, drained dry. So now they lead into Sylvie. So I just want a free switch here into my Garchomp, so I use Wild Charge. Um, they get for the Dazzling Gleam, knocking out Gogo, giving me the switch that I need into my Garchomp. So if I'd swapped out there and took on the Dazzling Gleam, I think it would have had a very different battle to it. So I go for Iron Head. Just to smack in the face and finish off the match. So the fourth battle's coming in a bit, guys. So I'll see you then. Come on, give me a beat.